Driving down Arapa Road in Denver with the windows of my dad's forerunner rolled down, sunroof open, I opened up the Americana CD case and slid my favorite album into the stereo. The blonde boy swinging on the cover always made me smile. The Kids Aren't Alright has always been one of my favorite songs since I was rocking Skechers and Pigtails. I threw back my first shot of tequila in the seventh grade. I just ran away from my dad's house to my neighbor's after I learned my parents lied to me about their marriage. My neighbor's older brother was having a party and my friend and I knew we could get away with stealing a half-empty bottle of Juarez. The next Monday at school, the entire seventh grade at Newton Middle School knew I had partied the Saturday before. Ever since then, I was labeled as a partier. Each Saturday in high school, I'd spend the afternoon texting half the boys in my Blackberry, asking them to buy me alcohol for later that night. My phone was constantly buzzing. It was streams of, yo, Kel, where's the party at tonight? Do you think so-and-so would be okay if we stopped by? If I give you money, can you get me a 30 rack? I loved the attention and thought highly of myself for knowing where the next party was going to be. Then, it all caught up with me. When I was 17, I got three minor in possessions and six weeks all drinking related. I was a week away from starting my freshman year up in Boulder. One Saturday night, the Rappo County Police Department called my parents and told them I had just thrown a rager at their house. My mom and stepdad were on vacation in Vegas at the time. I am so disappointed in you, Kelly Cassidy. How could you? I raised you better than this. My mom said on the other line. She must have repeated those words a hundred times that night. When people started to hear about my probation and the numerous alcohol classes I had to take, one after another, all anyone had to say was, it's about time. My phone stopped buzzing. People didn't want to party with the girl who kept getting in trouble and had to be drug tested every two weeks. Alcohol, not cannabis, was my source of trouble. I have seen firsthand how kids under the age of 21 are affected by recreational use of drugs and alcohol. Today, when I drive down I-25 and past 6th Avenue and that skunky smell fills the air, I'm reminded of my younger years and how much has changed since then. If cannabis was legalized when I was in high school, I believe me and my friends and others who mix marijuana and alcohol could have been more familiar with its harmful health effects. I would have wanted to know that cannabis is a Schedule 1 drug and that people 21 and over can legally buy it. 